This is Ryan Fecto with U.S. Builders Review. I'm reporting live from Washington, D.C. We're at the Green Build Conference and Expo. I'm joined by Mark and Chip with Brookfield Residential. They're going to tell us a little bit about the company, what they do there. Um, we're excited to have them as one of our 2015 Editor's Choice companies. In fact, they're on the front page, uh, front cover of this year's U.S. Builders Review Special Edition for Green Build. Uh, Mark and Chip, thanks so much for uh, joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. If you want to tell us a little bit about who you are, uh, Chip, we'll start with you, and then Mark, if you want to take the take the reins afterwards, and maybe a little bit about Brookfield as well. Sure. Um, my name is Chip Devine. I am the Senior Vice President in charge of Housing uh, and Land Development in uh, for the Washington market. Uh, we currently, Brookfield uh, Residential is a wholly owned subsidiary of Brookfield Asset Management. We operate in um, California, about four major markets in California, Denver, Austin, Phoenix, Calgary is our headquarters, Edmonton, and also in Toronto. Uh, we currently uh, will build about 300 homes in the Washington market. All told, I think we're about 2,500 homes uh, across the nation right now. So keeping busy. Yes, we are. <laughs> and Mark? I'm the production manager for Brookfield, Washington, D.C. division. I handle the Northern Virginia territory, so um, about five different counties in Northern Virginia. And, and being here at Greenville, there's obviously a great deal of significance for Brookfield Residential. Uh, the Pure Blue Home is, is a, a new concept that you guys are, are working with. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what Pure Blue Home means and to folks who might not be familiar with, with the home and, and just a, just the qualities that it has as, as far as it relates to sustainability and, and making a, a better living environment for folks? Uh, well, Brookfield started off about 10 years ago building our first, uh, as we refer to it as our energy home. We started off using the Brookfield Blue logo at that time. Uh, it's all dealing with sustainability and making sure that you know we're, we're leaving something behind. So we've really gone out of our way to test different homes. Uh, we've come out with quite a few things that we agreed with, some other items that we said no, they just were not going to work properly for us. Uh, one of the, for instance, is we started to go ahead and use uh, isotene foam on one of our homes and we were immediately amazed at how quiet it was. Now it was very good and energy efficient, but it was quiet. So then we started to use that wherever we ran across a noise issue on commu uh, in communities. Uh, we've tried uh, different types of insulation, we've tried different types of solar panels, we've tried groundwater um, heat pumps, uh, we've even tried windmills on top of some of our, our products before. But we've learned through the three homes we've done and the Brookfield Blue House is really a culmination of everything we've learned from that. We started with our younger guys, a whole team of young people involved in it, that we figured that's the spot to go. Old people like me, we're just going to move on. It's their time to go ahead and take care of this. So they came up with a lot of ideas. They had a very open slate to go ahead and look at this. We worked with our architects. The goal of this, of course, was that it had to fit into a current community that we are building in right now. So they've done a great job. Uh, we let them have freelance. And I'm sure Mark can explain most of that because he was on that committee all the time. So, so for those, Mark, who, who go on to uh, read the article about Brookfield and, and this year's uh, U.S. Builders Review Special Edition, where they go on to www.usbuildersreview.com forward slash greenbuild, and they pick up your article, what is it that they're going to learn about Brookfield and the Pure Blue Home? What, what, what do you hope are some of the takeaways? Uh, the takeaway was really uh, just the amount of different new products that we use outside of our production home. Um, actually, you'll probably find a lot of the products we used here in this convention today. Um, it, we just tried, we thought outside the box, if we haven't used it or if we were thinking about using it, we, we talked to manufacturers, we talked to subcontractors, trade partners that actually used them and figured what were your, uh, what were your efficiencies with it, what were your, dis uh, um, what were your problems and issues you had with it. So we can kind of put the whole house together and we really thought about every little item in there to make sure the whole system worked. Um, not just nitpick one item, two items here or there. We wanted to make sure all the systems work together and that's really what we're trying to get across and you'll, what you'll see in the article is the house is a whole system that works uh, interchangeably. So more of a holistic approach looking Correct. at looking at the building and all of its components. Correct, from the outside all the way to the, you know, the finer points behind the walls that you'll never see. Right, right, right. 
Well, uh, that, that's, I think, a helpful description. And, of course, folks will be able to learn even more about, about Brookfield uh, in the article and, of course, on your website and those, and those sorts of uh, mediums. Uh, we did want to ask at least one uh, sort of lighthearted question, a little bit more fun. Uh, we are in the nation's capital. Our, our country has had uh, a number of, of presidents in its lifetime. If you could choose one former president, alive or dead, uh, to build a pure blue home for, who would you choose and why? Maybe, maybe we even make the, the White House pure blue for, for a few days. Well, uh, it's kind of a hard one, but actually, go, speaking to your point about building the White House, you know, George Washington had a hand in the White House and never actually lived in it, so it would actually be nice to build it for him because <laughs> you wouldn't have to hear about it later on if, right. if something didn't work properly. <laughs> so we all know in construction there could be hiccups along the way, but I think that would be one of my guys. For, for sure. And Chip, uh, do, you have, do you have anyone in mind? I'd probably take Teddy Roosevelt, the Rough Rider. He was uh, a real guy out in the uh, wilderness and dealing with how reality was out there and enjoyed it. And that's probably what all the, the green building and building is, the sustainability of taking care of our planet. Absolutely. Nothing more sustainable than uh, living outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, again, this is Ryan Fecto with U.S. Builders Review reporting live from Washington, D.C. at the Green Build Conference and Expo. Joined by Brookfield Residential. Uh, thank you guys for, for joining me this morning. We, uh, we, I'm sure you're quite busy and have lots to do. So we, ta we thank you for taking the time to, to be with us. And uh, for, for this segment, that's all we have. Thank you for having us. Thank, thank you. you.